about creativity and I believe that the components of creativity is experience plus skills multiplied by motivation. This How is true. far do you agree with me? I totally agree. Actually, uh, creativity uh, is coming up with new ideas that can solve problems either in the personal life or professional life. Uh, most of the people who have uh, creativity, they are share uh, one thing. Although they may come from different backgrounds, but they only share one thing in common, that they do love what they are uh, working for or what they are doing. They are doing it with passion. If they have such kind of passion and such kind of love for what they do, they can be creative. Not everyone can be, but the people who have some certain aspect doing it for creativity. For example, if they are asking research questions, uh, what if scenario? Why this? For example, Albert Einstein, when he was a young boy, he asked himself, what would happen if I can run beside a light beam with a speed of light? One other creative person asked, what will happen if this object, if I left it, it will fall down? So if I'm asking such kind of research questions, we can reach for another answers out of the box. Always ask why, continuously. Yes. Or what if? Such kind of search questions will lead us to a certain uh, creativity or solutions for something that we had never reached before. Well, we are talking a lot about creativity, but let me first say, what is creativity? Uh, creativity is coming up with ideas uh, that enhance our personal or professional life. Coming up with ideas and solutions to cases or problems that we face and we haven't found solution for it so far. Uh, such kind of solution can come or can be solved in different ways. Creative people, when they face any problem, they try to uh, drop down the problem into its smallest component and then try to reassemble such kind of small component in a different way, in a different perspective, in a different approach. By doing such kind of thing, they can find not only just one solution for their problem, but they may find different and multiple solutions for such kind of problems. Maybe here I'm very much interested in one of the metrics uh, regarding finding the problem and to be creative that I remember the, um, the process for creativity, the do it. Well, just do it. Um, it's the G uh, stands for define the problem, the, uh, the O, open mind and apply creative technique and the I, identify best solution and the T, transform. Exactly. So, this summarizes the, the idea of finding alternative to the problem. Yes, and the creative people find multiple alternatives, as you are saying, not just one Always alternative. Always there will be a way. Different ways. Well, usually we are used that, well, everything has its time. It can die or it can be killed. Yes. So what are the main things that really or blocks poor creativity? Why people are not creative? Uh, in order to answer these questions, uh, things that kill creativity comes from two different aspects. One is from the person himself, and the other from the system or environment or the company he's working for. Uh, let's take the first side. If he's working in certain environments that kills uh, creativity, this can happen if this environment is uh, too much bureaucracy. This environment is also encouraging only the employees who are following instruction, not the employees who are coming with new ideas not employees who are coming with solutions or enhancing the business process within their company, not the employees who are coming with solutions that can get more revenue, more profit, uh, being more productive, uh, getting better solution or better services in a better time with less cost. If the environment is not encouraging such kind of things, so the environment will be killing the creativity. This is from one side. From the other side, killing creativity from the person himself. So many persons are afraid from failure. This is one of the big reasons that so many people are not creative. They are always fear that they will be failed. They are always fear that they will be laughed in at from their colleagues. They are always fear that they said they have, made, they have made a mistake. Especially when they get a new idea, usually their colleagues or people around, they will say, oh, what are you thinking about? You think you are a genius? Yes. We thought about it five years ago, for example, and we reached to nothing. Exactly, and they start to criticize this. The good people or the creative people will not listen to such kind of things. Actually, they, they should take such kind of criticism into positive attitude and move it forward into enhancing their idea or their creativity issue that they are working upon. Uh, also, the negative attitude from the person. If anyone looks only for the empty part of the bottle or empty, empty part of the cup, he will not be able to be creative. He should look for the positive side and try to enhance it and get farther and forward. So, if we are going to talk about 
factors uh, affecting the creativity. How are we going to arrange it? Because there are some controllable factors and uncontrollable factors. So let me leave aside the uncontrollable, the environment, the resources, the financial resources, of course. But do you think there are certain things that I can work on, like, for example, the training, the motivation? Because people say that there is nothing motivating us. There are no incentives. But I think we can create our own motivation. This is true, and actually creative people are already creative uh, even for themselves, not just for the company they are working for. For example, if I'm working in a certain place that doesn't give me the chance to be creative, from my point of view, I should not stop. I should still continue to develop myself, either by training, either by thinking creativity out of the box in the field that I'm working on or in another field which I would like to move on in the next future. Uh, so creativity, actually, as a matter of fact, it's a skill that can be learned and can be developed. So we cannot claim that if I'm not talented in creativity, so it's no way to be creative. No, I can gain it, I can learn it, I can develop it by practice. And during the show or during the program, we can tell what steps can be done in order to learn and get developed in creativity. Well, creative people, it shows like uh, since childhood, right? Yes, yes. Actually, uh, one of the very nice uh, uh, stories that I would like to share with you and the viewers, if you do any creativity test for small kids in the school, you will find most of them are creative. If you did a creativity test for the same group when they are adult, you will only find very few percentage from them creative. <laughs> Why this happened? Because of the education system. This is the main reason where they started doing creative tests when they are kids. So they were, by nature, by, uh, by, by, by default, talented and creative. And because they didn't have frame, they didn't put into a box. They didn't was told to, you have to follow the instruction. They were told you have to color within these borders. This is why when you do the creative test again when they are adult, you will find so many frames, for, for so many restrictions, so many borders for them. Well, at the end, we have to say that, for example, Thomas Edison said genius is 1% uh, inspiration and 99% perspiration. Yes. So, a break, we'll be back. Our Hour is a program for youth. In universities, in clubs, every...